I'm not gonna change me for you. For who? Okay, we in a new setting, a different setting. Okay. Hi, Shea Babes, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ayana, and you want to go ahead, press subscribe, and that notification bell next to it so you will not miss any videos from me. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. So this was a very voted for video, and I'm quite surprised. Let me see how many people voted for this video, because what? 542 people voted for this video, so that's actually very, very surprising. And I feel like this video is so fit. I will be doing some skincare while I'm talking to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and use this little headband. Isn't this little headband so cute? This is the brand name that sent it to me. It's a skincare brand, but I was like, this little cute little headband. I don't know if it's for, you know, when you wash your face or anything, but shoo, I'm aware. But I'm going to be doing my skincare while I talk about how I achieved my self-confidence and how I'm so comfortable just being myself and why I'm so comfortable just being myself. I always get comments on, um, or not even comments asking anything, but just like, you know, pointing out like, wow, you're so confident. Like, I love your confidence. I can just see your confidence. I can feel your confidence, stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, thank you. I realize a lot of people do not have self-confidence and you can tell when somebody does not love themselves they try to project they try to throw negativity they try to bring you down i'm first going to start off by washing my face with the skin fix acne plus bha because i have a little bit of visitors on my face right now okay first thing first i just want to do a little story time on how i became confident and when did i first start noticing that I just stopped caring what people think. So it started when I was in high school, but because I have albinism, I never seen anybody that looked like me as a kid. All my life, I just would be insecure at how I looked and also like how my body looked. Cause you know, like as a female, I'm not even gonna lie, as a female growing up, I was flat chested, you know, I had no body like that. So I was like, you know, a little insecure about that as well on top of having albinism as well. But I realized when I was in high school, I think I was in, I wanna say I was in 10th grade, 10th or 11th grade, or probably 12th. But I realized when I was in high school, one day, it sounds so cliche, but I'm literally telling you the truth right now. One day I woke up and went to school. And in that school, I was like, I don't care what nobody think because I'm not gonna see you anyway. I might not even see you for the rest of my life. So I'm like, why do I care what you think about me? And I do feel like people get arrogance and confidence mixed up a lot. Um, and I know the difference for sure. Having that mindset in your head is not a form of arrogance. That's literally just a form of confidence. Like, why should I care what you think about me? Why? That time period in my life when I was in high school, I believe I was 17 or 18. Probably, si no, I wasn't, not 16 because I was still a little insecure at 16. I feel like I was 17 or 18. I feel like it was 17 when I said in my head, I'm tired of caring what other people think of me. I'm not gonna live a long life worrying about what other people think of me. Worrying about, oh, what are they saying about me? Worrying about, oh, maybe I, should, I shouldn't act like that because it, it might they might think of me this way. Like, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna be beating around the bush and trying to make somebody else feel comfortable around me when I'm the one that lives with me. I live with myself. I wake up every morning and have to look at myself in the mirror like what and go to sleep at night like <laughs> that's insane to me so literally that's the thoughts i had not as detailed as i am now but in high school the main surface thought was i, I don't care what nobody think like i don't care my next thing is in order to become self-confident and confident within yourself you have to be able to accept yourself self acceptance acceptance is so important okay i need to wait for that water to warm up man learning to accept yourself as you are is so important and will go a long way and i feel like a lot of people don't do that 
and literally i have this is so funny though because literally i sit in my thoughts i literally would sit in silence and just be thinking like why is this and maybe it's because of this like literally that's how i think i'm going to be using the fenty skin cherry um what is it fenty skin cherry mask i used this before in a um little tiktok so i'm gonna use that as a mask for tonight with my little applicator i feel like a lot of people don't accept themselves within and how they are and that clearly will show and reflect on how they act towards other people that they see are clearly confident within themselves i'm not even gonna lie it makes people jealous when somebody sees you and you love yourself inside and out you love everything that makes you you and you're happy with it and that bothers people they might not be able to obtain that level of confidence that you have or might not be able to figure that out within themselves so self-acceptance is so important but i also feel like when you aren't the societal norm and i'm using it very very loosely because what is normal who gonna tell me i'm not like what but if you're not the societal norm or if you don't look a certain way then it's like when somebody sees you and you're not the societal norm and you have confidence oh don't let them see you because they, they just be boiling it will make people upset and i honestly started figuring that out like a year and a half ago because when people see somebody that might look like me or somebody that might be not that might not be the societal norm loving themselves accepting themselves and just being them and loving being themselves that bothers people because they feel like if you don't look like the societal norm you shouldn't be happy with yourself you should be sad you should be insecure you should be mad i just literally can pick up on that i'm a very observant person you can just pick up on that type of stuff so literally when you accept yourself as to who you are as to loving how you look it will increase your confidence like literally i'm not gonna change me for you for who not for you like i said my insecurities literally stem from how i look like physically and because of my body as well like i had you know i was kind of flat chest for a long time and had no body like that you know i look like a stick when i was a kid but you know that's normal as a kid you know when you got get in high school you know you know y'all know if you've been in high school once i accept myself and realize this is the body that god gave me this is the body i'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life will i be miserable and do i want to choose to be miserable or do i want to choose to be insecure for the rest of my life do i want to choose to care about what other people think of me for the rest of my life don't that sound exhausting i don't want to be exhausted worrying about what other people think of me so i accepted how i am what i look like how i talk x y and z once you get that down pack and just spend time with yourself your confidence will eventually kick in like literally accept you for you accept all your flaws if you don't got whatever whatever your flaws are or if you're not the societal norm accept it that's what makes everybody different your flaws that'd be so boring if everybody looked the same that'd be so boring if everybody act the same like what that'd be so boring if everybody speak the same had the same mono like had the same tone of voice like come on this also leads me into something i did touch on earlier in the video far as stop caring what other people think if you want to be confident within yourself stop caring what other people think of you because if you're always worried about what other people think of you that's not it's really not going to help you mentally i don't know if it was on tiktok i feel like it was on tiktok i was watching somebody's tiktok and they were talking about how somebody's thoughts about you is none of your business and when they said that i was like mm, you're right it's none of my business what you think whatever you think of me it's none of my business and it has nothing to do with me because i'm gonna still do me if you want to become a master confidence within yourself you need to stop caring what other people think because their thoughts have nothing to do with you their thoughts about you is none of your business it has nothing to do with you it's everything that has something to do with them nobody's thoughts on you have the power over you nobody thoughts matter about you except for your thoughts about you 
if that makes sense. I hope you understand what I'm saying. All right, just rinse off my mask. I'm going to go in with the Pharmacy Deep Sweep, which is like a toner. This is a BHA toner. I've been obsessed with this. I literally have like a little corner left. On to my next talking point, though. I touched on it a little bit at the beginning of this video. Once you accept yourself and have established that self-confidence within yourself, it's going to make people feel jealous or they might feel insecure or it can inspire somebody because I realized as well, me just showing up and just being comfortable with myself has helped a lot of people realize it's okay to be comfortable within yourself. It's okay to accept you for you. It's okay. Me accepting myself has really, I've, I kind of feel like it's been both because I feel like I've seen it more online and like the internet. And like I say, the internet is the internet what really matters is what is going on in your reality in real life. I've noticed online when people see that I'm very confident within myself because I'm not the societal norm, um, it bothers them to the point where they need to spew negativity. So I do realize that a lot like when you're not, like I mentioned, like when you're not the societal norm, people expect you to not be happy with yourself which is very crazy to me because I'm like, why? Why can't I be confident in myself? Why can't I love how I look just because of X, Y, and Z? Once I started accepting myself and showing that, you know, to the world that, yes, I love myself. I'm proud of myself. I know I look good at X, Y, and Z and just showing my confidence within myself, it bothers people. But it also has, like I said, impacted me and let me know that, me just showing up as myself, me loving myself, me accepting myself for who I am, it has helped other people as well to realize like, hey, you know, maybe, maybe I can be like this. Maybe I should accept myself. Maybe I should start working on my confidence, stuff like that. And it makes me very, very happy. I remember somebody as younger than me, like 10 years old saying, you know, I've helped them with their confidence and people that's way older than me probably in their 40s or 60s so it's just like it's a very very comforting feeling that i'm able to do that but far as like accepting yourself that always has to happen with you you have to do that now i'm going to go in with my nice cinema by the ordinary as long as you are comfortable within yourself that's all that matters but yes once you start accepting yourself it will bother people unfortunately because there are people out here that don't have um confidence within themselves and they feel like they need to spill their projections onto other people and it could be also a form like they might feel threatened by your confidence because literally you can feel somebody's confidence and it's it's so funny because you can literally feel my confidence through the screen which is like i'm not laughing but it's just like you can feel people's confidence i don't know what it is when i see other people and they're very confident within themselves it's just like I don't know what it is, like a glow, it's just an aura, it's just, I can't even explain it, but you can feel people's confidence. So when somebody sees that you're confident, they might feel like, oh, and make, make them feel a little threatened or a little jealous. So, I mean, it is what it is. I just put on the hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary, add a little bit of moisture to my face now let me touch on this as well in order to accept yourself fully you need to learn who you are learn what you like learn what you don't like how you like to present yourself learn how you like to carry yourself like stuff like that and even though it might seem very minor but far as me growing up and learning to accept myself and learning to fully yeah i, I would say fully accept myself when i was a kid like I said, I didn't have fashion sense like that. So I just be throwing on what I felt like everybody else was wearing. Like what I felt would not draw a lot of attention to me, which is funny. But yeah, but once I got out of that mindset and realized I like to wear more laid back things. I like to wear more 90 inspired things. I like to wear things that make me feel comfortable and me feel beautiful. That's where I started to, you know, do and experiment with when I was turning Mm, when I was turning 18, after I graduated high school, learn who you are. You don't need to copy what everybody else is doing and what everybody else is wearing, what everybody else is saying, what everybody else is talking like. Literally learn you. Learn what you like. Learn what you don't like. 
have your own sense of self don't copy anybody else now i'm moisturizing my skin with the pharmacy honey halo face cream learn who you are and love what makes you different what makes you unique what makes you you and just do things that make you feel happy and you feel comfortable within yourself and just do an example of my fashion sense as a kid like i really didn't have any type of fashion sense at all but now that i'm older um i realize what i like and i honestly don't follow trends when it comes to fashion like that i might you know put on a little cute little thing wow well, but most of the time i like to create my own sense of style it's just a form of expression and i feel like a form of expression on how you do your hair how you do your makeup how you you know wear your clothes it's basically a form of you because nobody's not gonna do it how you do it nobody's not gonna rock it Rocky. And I want to leave you with this while I put on my little last little product. This is the Skin Fix Acne Plus BHA Spot Treatment because I do have a little bit of visitors right now. As far as self-acceptance and self-confidence, you will not achieve this overnight. Self-acceptance and self-confidence did not happen for me overnight. I did not fully feel confident within myself until I was probably... 18 or 19 okay 18 or 19 so it had took years um to feel comfortable within myself if you're somebody that is on a journey of self-acceptance or on a journey to self-confidence just it's literally like an everyday thing like you you have to work on it you have to always feel secure within yourself it is a daily job it's a daily task okay and like i said it's a journey you have to you have to end up changing your mindset and how you view yourself and how you view others and also the only way you can gain confidence and can gain self-acceptance is when you are ready you have to be ready for that if you're not ready then you're not going to do it and like i said it has taken me years to realize and be able to build upon my confidence once i realize i'm like okay i don't care what other people think then i have to realize okay i i like this type of style or i like to do my hair like this or i like to do my makeup like this and not care what other people think why you do your makeup like this why you do this and this like not even care about it so it has taken me years and i just build upon it and build upon it and just build upon it until you become very self-secure you're secure with yourself you have accepted yourself which in return will exude self-confidence. So like I said, it does not happen overnight. It does not. But with that being said, my skincare for tonight is complete. I'm about to go ahead and get ready for bed and relax. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video was helpful for somebody because like I said, I always get little comments saying, wow, you're so confident. And it's just like, thank you. Thank you, because I worked on it. I worked on it for a while, okay? Let me know down below what part of this video and what I stated in this video was your favorite and stuck and resonated with you. And I would love to know that down below in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. So go ahead and do that. Don't forget you're beautiful, you're strong, you the best music. And I will see you in the next video.